things in here. The lovely Tanya sent me this surprise tote bag and how cute is this she also sent me a print some stickers and her packaging always surprised me this is like a zine and then when you open the zine it comes with like this mini print oh my god thank you so much Tanya you're always so so sweet this made me so happy and I did an art trade with Jess and she sent me so much things and she also sent me this mini button badges and how cute are these i just love this size so so much and stickers because you can never have too many stickers right everyone welcome back to another video and welcome back to another studio vlog it's now Tuesday and the footage that you saw from before it was from Saturday and yesterday I came on Saturday to take care of some patreon bits um, because I'm actually taking some days off starting on Thursday I'm taking about 10 eight days off so I want to get some content ready for Patreon. Uh, yesterday I actually started to edit the photos for the shop updates that I'm going to have this week. Uh, when you're seeing this video the shop update will be live already so I'm going to leave the link for my website in the description if you want to check that out. I'm going to have new earrings and um, sticker packs and I still don't know if I'll be having the mouse pads or not but I'll let you know on this studio vlog because if it's not done on this studio vlog they won't be available but yeah I'm going to take some days off and this week I want to get the photos ready the listing ready um, and like the banners the posts for Instagram and I also want to make an announcement because since I'm taking some days off um, I only be shipping orders when I come back from my vacations so I want to make that clear on my website and on Etsy I took vacations while I had my shop opened but when that happened my shop was like I didn't have almost any orders so it wasn't that big of a deal for me to not ship them because they were non-existent uh, so now I need to make that clear because I'm having more regular orders even though like the shop is totally stopped now I haven't had an order for days now but I'm going to make that clear in there uh, as you can see I have more decoration in the back uh, these little things are from one of my patrons she, she gifted it to me um, I think I showed you in one of the vlogs previously and finally I have some decoration on the back so I can finally film like this and have a little bit more color on the background and I'm super happy with it and you already saw me opening some happy mail but I just went to my uh, PO box and I have some more oh, some more to open here with you so yeah let's see what you guys sent me. So this is from Cynthia. She wanted to send me some stuff for a while but she was having some problems because she's from Brazil and it was really hard for her to send me stuff and she was a really big help when I was starting uh, sublimation because she does sublimation. So thank you so much Cynthia for all your help and this packaging is so so pretty. This is like wrapping paper uh, she was actually the one that um, <laughs> made me decide to clean my sublimation printer and try it out, so... Oh my god! <laughs> Look at all this stuff! Oh, Look at this! Oh my god, she sent me so many things! How cute is this? I love stationery. How can you not love stationery? This is so cool. And how pretty. Oh my god. Look at all 
of this. Thank you so, so much. And now something very, very excited. So Ziv got in contact with me and they wanted to offer me some glasses to show you guys. And I'm so, so excited for this because if you wear glasses, you know how expensive they can be. And these are really cheap and affordable. So let's open them to see how they look. This is so cool. This is all cardboard and basically you can reuse this as a glasses box like in your purse and stuff like that so this is such a nice idea the artemis rose gold and both the glasses that i order you can see they have blue light protection but they are so so nice look so pretty look at them you can see like the design it's similar to the ones that i use right now because it's the kind of glasses that fit my face so <laughs> i always order rounded glasses let's open the others they come so nicely packed and these are the others um these are a more these are a matte black and these are the Uru black model and it has been a while since I had uh, black glasses but I used to have ones um, that were similar to this and I absolutely love them uh, I like glasses without the little things on in here they can be a little bit more comfortable in some days so I can't wait to try this on as well and I have to be careful because I have big cheeks and glasses can be too big otherwise when I laugh the glasses do like this <laughs> and when I started to use glasses like I didn't notice it so every time I would laugh my glasses would go like this so now I have to be careful for the glasses to be smaller and rounder so that doesn't keep happening so let's try it out they look almost the same that my glasses that I have now but they have a little bit of pink which I love <laughs> and I think they look so so cute these are a little bit bigger than the ones that I use right now, but I'm quite happy with them. And the price, it's so, so much less. If you use glasses, you know every time you need to change your glasses is such a huge investment. And these ones are quite cheap. Like I always choose like this thing uh, quite cheaper. Um, and they still cost me like 300 euros. And I don't know if you can tell, but they are already like the metal yeah they are expensive but sometimes not really good quality so having these affordable options it's super super nice and now let's try this ones yay <laughs> it's so weird to look at me with glasses like in color i'm so used to use like this ones this is so cool i missed having this type of glasses because they are a lot more comfortable like here on the nose and everything yeah i'm going to leave a link for a discount code in the description so you can get some so when you need glasses come back to this video and go to zinf uh, website because they are really really nice and affordable so yeah i'm so so happy with them let me know what you think so that was the unboxing from all the Happy Mail and I'm really in love with these ones, I love them so much. So I'm going to leave links for everything and for everyone that I mentioned on this video in the description and I'm also going to leave the link and the discount code for Ziff if you want to check them out. So yeah, let's go on with the working day. I'm going to finish editing the photos for the shop update for the sticker packs and the earrings that you saw me taking last week for last week's studio vlog so i'm going to finish edit them and then put them on my website so let's go are all 
edited they are all here uh, but before I put them on the website I'm going to work on some patreon stuff um, since it's now the beginning of the month I need to do the monthly calendar for my patrons I always do like the schedule of the month so they know when to expect things so yeah i'm going to take care of that and then we are going to do to put all the products that i've been editing on the website so let's create a calendar <laughs> It's already available so I always update the one where I upload the schedule for the month where you can see when everything is going to be available then I talked about what's happening this month so there are some things that are happening on patreon this month the first thing is I'm going to end all the um, secret project that I've been doing with the patrons. Uh, I'm finishing an uh, exclusive sticker, exclusive sticker for them. They already helped me with the design and the materials and all that kind of things. Um, so I'll be ordering probably this week or next week so I can send them together with the goodies for the month and all that kind of things. And this month for the whale steer, I'm going to send them out a pin display. In the whale steer, they get an exclusive pin every month so I thought it was going to be a good idea every six months so twice a year I going to send them an exclusive pin display as well so they can display the pins that I send them on the box and I'm going to do something different this month I've been doing since I started my patreon a tutorial every month and last month I did like a poll asking what they would like to see from me as a tutorial because it's one of the hardest things it's to have ideas for the tutorial and a lot Lot of my patrons voted that they wanted to see like the whole process of an illustration so this month I'm going to do a live tutorial that is going to happen on the last week of the month I think um, so that's going to be nice as well yeah let's keep working on the shop update for this week and put the products that we already have edited on the website can you tell I've been neglecting completely my sticker packs <laughs> Oh my god, I have like four sticky packs on my shop. It's been taken care of. Quite later I already finished putting all the new sticker packs and the new earrings here on my website and I've also been taking care of some patreon bits I already left all of these posts uh, schedule so they will post automatically and I don't have to worry uh, about it and I also already finished the sticker the exclusive sticker um, I did the final illustration that is 
this one and I did some options for the patrons to choose the glitter because that was the effect that won the last poll. So I did some tryouts. The glitter is super, super bad. I have no idea how to do that. I just went and grabbed a couple of images of glitter of the internet and I tried it out. So this one will be, let me put a bigger image for you to see. All right, this is better. So this is this one is with white glitter um, on the outside. This one will be with like pink. Then here the glitter will be inside, and I think this looks uh, good. But I still wanted to give that as an option. And then I tried the glitter on the little heart, and I think this one will be super super cute. I tried with white white glitter and red and orange as well. So I'm going to do them on sticker app and you can basically choose the color of the glitter. So I did that and that is done as well. I can't wait to order them and give them to my patrons. Okay, so that is done. I'm almost done with planning Patreon things and YouTube. Tomorrow I'm also going to record the podcast that is coming out next week on Patreon. So I'll be in, on vacation, so I want to... Um, record and edit it this week and now i think i'm going to get some files ready on the computer for mouse mats and i'm going to print them out so yeah i'm going to do that now This is the result so far and I'm a lot happier with this than I was with the last experiments. Now the mouse pads, like the background, it's pink, <laughs> which it wasn't on the other tries. Like the colors are still a little bit different, but from, from what I've seen from other videos of people doing mouse mats, uh, with sublimation that is always going to happen because like the background is black so this fabric here um, it's not very thick so it will always be a little bit different because of the black underneath uh, this one still needs a little bit of um, I still need to change some things on this one because it's still a little bit too orange on here but otherwise it's super super pretty and nice as well then i tried with the snails but the colors are really really bad and um, i need to change up the pattern so that the images don't get cut but i'll put this as second as well every tryout that didn't go to plan i'll be putting them as a second probably in a shop update for second sales in july i'm still not sure but i'll do that during the summer then i tried this one and i really really love this illustration i did them uh last year for patrons for the first 10 patrons that joined my patron and i sent them a postcard and this was the illustration and i really really like how it would it turned out i think on the round mouse pad it will always it will look nice as well I also tried with the party animals when this got out of the press I was super disappointed but from what I've noticed is that they get a little bit darker a few seconds after they came out of the press so I'm really happy with the result as well but I also need to uh, change it a little bit so that the images don't get so much cut and then I did this too tryouts uh this one was the first one that i did and i really really like it but it's a little bit too dark from what i wanted so i did this one and it's a lot better and the colors 
and the colors are a lot more similar to what I wanted. This might be one of my favorites. This one, the strawberries and that one, I also did some tryouts. I saved the files, the sheets of sublimation so I can keep track of the changes that I did. So I increased a little bit of brightness and exposure. So as you can see, this one was the first try here the yellows were a little too weird and the rest of the image was a little too dark uh, but in here it looks amazing um, some of the colors are really hard so the original illustration this little guy it's yellow but a little bit orange over here but in some colors it's really hard to keep everything as the original because it's such a different product but I'm quite happy with the result. I'm going to take some photos of some of the designs um, and I'll upload them on Friday um, as well. I don't want to put a lot of designs for the first time. I'm still trying to adapt to a new material. So I think I'm going to put this one, this one with a few changes, this one, this one, this one. And this one. This one I still need to work it out a little bit better and try to see how I can fix the colors um, the best that I can so you can see all the details and everything. So yay! Mouse mats are coming to the shop finally! Yay! morning it's now Wednesday and today I'll be going on vacations which sounds crazy I don't even know the last time I took vacations and when I was working on my part-time job every time I would take vacations I would take take most days and try to make them um, more productive for my small business so now taking time off from my small business it's so so weird but i feel like it's going to be super super nice and that i'll be resting and i hopefully will come back a lot more uh, creative and inspired and all that kind of thing just by seeing different things that i see every day so i'm really really excited about that and i still need to finish some last pieces on the van but yeah we are going to take a vacation on the van me and my boyfriend and yay i'll keep you posted on that i'll try to film a video for my patrons so if you want to check that out it will be probably if i can film it uh, because i'm not used to talk uh, on a camera in front of people but i'll make that probably the exclusive video for patreon i'm really really looking forward to it so yeah um yesterday i finished the mouse pads and i decided that i'm not going to do coasters this time because that's still going to be a lot of back and forth but the mouse pads now i know more or less how to print them and how to make them uh, so I get the colors that I want more or less so I already took the pictures I already edited them and I already created the listings on my website so right now what we are going to do is like create the banners the images for like Instagram for stories and to post on the feed when the shop update is live so yeah we are going to take care of that now let's go on the computer again and i know this video vlog it was a lot about me on the computer so most of the weeks are like this it's just me sitting on the computer doing stuff so yeah let's go <laughs>
website it's all ready I've put a little notice when you open the website so that it will be more even more clear um, that says that I'm taking a short break and all orders will only be cheap only be shipped uh, after I came back, that is on the 15th of June. So this is what appears on the website when you um, open it, then you can click go to website or just close it. And then I have another one in here um, and I did the banners that you saw me doing. This is for the new sticker packs, then I have one for the new earrings. This one was already here before, this one is for the mouse pads and yeah, basically this is what comes up when you open the website. Then on the new win you're going to have like the new products, now it's that's not available yet so yeah, so this message, message will appear on all the websites so every page that you opened um, this will be there because I really want to make it clear because I don't want to get any complaints or anything like this or you to be disappointed when ordering from the website or something so I want it to be clear again. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think it looks super super cute. I'm loving my website every day even more because it's more like me every time I do a shop update and I improved it and it looks more professional and all that kind of thing. So yeah, I really really love it. Only my website will be opened. I put my Etsy on like a short break because on Etsy it's always more complicated to do these kind of things and yeah, I since I'm not going to do the update there, um, I just put it in here. So yeah, this is what I've been doing so far. I also already planned out my Instagram. I use later the free version and already planned them out like this. I wrote the description and everything. Then I just need to add the hashtags and I'll get a notification. I did one for tomorrow where I show the earrings and then one saying that the shop update is live and all that kind of things. So yay for organization. I'm really really excited for this shop update. I've been trying with the mouse pads for a while now and I already started to mission a couple of months ago so I can't wait to add more and more products to it. I still have the coasters to try out and I also have puzzles which I'm very excited about and like glass cleaning cloths that I want to do soon as well because they are super simple to make um, and the colors are a lot easier to get uh, so yeah, there's still a lot that I want to do, but step by step, so I don't stress uh, too much. And talking about stress, I decided that I won't be making a video next week. I was going to make a video about my YouTube journey and all that kind of things. I'm still going to film and probably I'll post it um, still this month, but I thought that I still have a lot to do. I still have to prepare the event a little and yeah, just see what I need and all that kind of thing so that my vacation will go as smooth as I can. So I thought that was adding a lot of pressure to me. So last night I decided that I won't film it. So next week there won't be a video, but the video will come very, very soon. So if you have any questions or something that you would like me to mention about my YouTube journey, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them when I film that video very very soon so yeah when this video this studio vlog is out the shop update will be live so the new sticker packs mouse mats and new earrings are already available so it will really mean a lot if you could check them out even though i can only send the orders when i came back on the june um on the 15th of june so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i'm going to edit now before going away for a week I'm so so excited, I can't wait to just do nothing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll miss you guys, but I hope to speak, you, speak to you very very soon and have a nice week or weekend ahead depending when you're watching this video. And check my Patreon if you want some nice stuff and exclusive, exclusive things and all that kind of things. So.
Also, thank you to Zimf again for the nice glasses and as well, as I mentioned before, I'm going to leave all the links in the description. Yeah, talk to you soon and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Bye! Bye!